Hi guys, welcome to finding the slopes of perpendicular lines. So here, we're not going to be writing um, equations just yet. We're just going to look at how we find the slopes of lines that are perpendicular to some lines that we're given, okay? So we need to know that the slopes of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals, okay? So that means that we're going to flip them, we're going to flip the fraction, and they're going to change signs. So if they're positive, they're going to become negative. If they're negative, they're going to become positive, okay? So I've got three example here, examples here, so we're going to look at those. All right, so if we start with our first one, the first thing that we need to do is figure out what in here is the slope, okay? All of these are going to be in y equals mx plus b form, so all we have to do is just figure out what our m is. So in this case, the slope from this line is 2 thirds, okay, so it's 2 over 3. And then our slope, okay, the slope that we want, okay, so our slope, our m is going to be, we're going to flip that, okay, so it's going to go from 2 over 3, we're going to flip it so that it's 3 over 2, and this one's positive, so this one is going to be negative, okay? So the slope of the line that's perpendicular to this one is negative 3 over 2, all right? So let's look at another example here. So first we're going to look at our equation and we're going to identify the slope of this equation, okay? The slope is m, so the slope here is negative one half, okay? And then our m, the slope for the line that we would, we would want for the perpendicular line, we're going to flip this. So it would be 2 over 1, but 2 over 1 is just 2, okay? So it would be 2 over 1, but that's just equal to 2, okay? And since this is negative, our slope is going to be positive. So the slope would be positive 2, the slope of the line that's perpendicular to this one. And then just one last example here, okay? The slope of this one is positive 3, okay? But we really want to see that as a fraction, right? So if we had to write a whole number as a fraction, we just put it over 1. So the slope would be 3 over 1 of this line. 3 and 3 over 1 are the same thing because 3 divided by 1 is 3, okay? So our slope, we're going to flip that, right? It's going to go from 3 over 1. We're going to flip it so that it's 1 over 3, okay? And since this is positive, our slope needs to be negative, okay? So the slope of the line that's perpendicular to this one would be negative 1 over 3.